All right, I was almost done with uh, this problem uh, number two. Um, I'm very close to being done. Uh, all right, so I think um, where I, the, the, I did, I made a mistake in the last video, by the way. Um, I was thinking, so a, a rock, a typical rock on the surface of the earth does have a density of 3.3, but that's in grams per cubic centimeter. So um, to convert that to, so, so we need to use kilograms per cubic meter. So it's, it's really, um, it's, you, see, you just multiply it by a thousand. Um, and so it's 3,300 kilograms per cubic meter. That's, that's like the density of the moon, the density of the, the rocks on the surface of the earth. All right, anyhow, I'm going to use that density. Um, and so uh, so I, I think I was, uh, I hadn't quite figured out the volume. So um, you, when you when you cube 5,000, multiply by, then multiply by 4 pi, divide by 3, you get a volume of the asteroid of 5.24 times 10 to the 11th cubic meters. All right, and so... Um, with, with this density, okay, so with the, with the density of uh, 3,300 uh, 3, uh, kilograms per cubic meter, you multiply that times um, the, the, the volume of this spherical asteroid. So, um, it, so here it is. There, there's, there's the volume, 5.12 times 10 to the 11th um, times the, 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 uh, the density of, of rocks, uh, the, the average rock. Uh, that you find on the surface of the Earth, um, and so so when you do that, the mass of the asteroid turns out to be the, the, here it is right here, um, approximately uh, 1.73 times 10 to the 15th. So that's it's that's less by about a factor. You remember the, the, when we originally did this problem, it was um, you know we, we found that uh, a human um, that was somehow magically turned into neutron star matter would have a mass of about uh, something times 10 to the 16th. So, so this is, um, uh, this is uh, 10 times less th than what, what a, a human would, would, you know, th this, is like this, this is like the mass that you find in a mountain, right? Uh, you know, a, a large mountain. All right, anyhow, let's move on to uh, the next problem. All right, let me clear this, and um, all right, so let's go over here, and so here it is. Um, it says calculate, uh, this is number three, calculate the surface gravity, uh, the su surface gravitational acceleration and the end escape speed of a 1.4 solar mass neutron star um, with a radius of 10 kilometers. All right, uh, what would its escape speed be from this neutron star if the same mass was in a radius of four kilometers? As we're going to see, that's impossible. Okay, so so we're going to show that that's impossible. Um, you, you can't just say that, right? You have to work out uh, the details of it. All right, so let's do this. All right, so the the acceleration, um, the surface acceleration of, of any object is is equal to I, Isaac Newton figured this out, by the way. Um, the the universal gravitational constant. So that's big G. Um, there, there's the value of it. It's 6.67 times 10 to the mi minus, sorry, I forgot to put the, mi the minus sign in there, times 10 to the minus 11th uh, times the mass of the object. So in this case, it's a neutron star. So it's 1.4, um, this particular neutron star is 1.4 times um, the mass of the sun. So th there's the mass of the sun, 2 times 10 to the 30th. All right, and then you divide by the, the, the radius of it squared. So they give us that the radius was 10 kilometers. It, that has to actually be in meters for this equation to work properly. Um, so, so it would be 10,000 meters, but you got to square that. Anyhow, the acceleration turns out to be an enormous, just, just keep in mind, on, on the Earth, right, the acceleration due to, uh, you know, due to gravitation on the on the surface of the Earth is about uh, nine point eight meters per second squared. So that that's those are the units of acceleration. So this turns out to be once I did it, it was enormous. Uh, one point approximately one point nine times ten to the twelfth um, meters. 
uh, per second squared. That those are those are just the units of it. But th th that's again that's that's an enormous acceleration compared to, of course, you know, on Earth the the you know this is this would be on the surface of a neutron star. On Earth it would be nine point eight meters per second squared. So a very you know you'd be crushed to death on the surface of a neutron star. Um, all right, so. Uh, um, the, the rest of it, they have, they have us calculate the escape velocity, all right? So the escape velocity, um, let, let me just write the, the equation, right? So uh, Isaac Newton also came up with this formula. The escape velocity is equal to, so it's, it's always the square root of 2 times big G, that's the universal gravitational constant, times the mass of the object divided by the, the radius of the object. All right, um, and 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 the mass has to be in kilograms, and the radius has to be in meters. All right, so so they, they ask us two two parts. Um, well, I guess it's really three parts. Okay, so this is the, what we just did was the surface gravity. All right, so now we're going to do the escape velocity. So let me let's uh, let's do the escape velocity just from the you know just using the numbers that they gave us. Right, so here's the escape velocity. All right, is the square root of, all right, I'm going to put all the numbers in, so it's going to be uh, two, oops, two times that, right, so it's two um, times, sorry, times 6 point, that, that's, uh, the, everything's under the square root, by the way, uh, 6.67, 2 times 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th, um, and then that's times the mass, and of course they gave us the mass as 1.4, uh, times the mass of the sun, so which is times two times ten to the thirtieth. Ten to the thirtieth. All right, uh, and that's kilograms. All right, and then you divide it by. Um, in this case, it was uh, the radius of a um, a uh, ten kilo kilometer um, uh, neutron star. Uh, that that was its radius. But but of course, it has to be in meters, so it's. 10,000 uh, meters. So you divide, and, and remember, all this is under the square root, and so that comes out to be this enormous speed, um, almost the maximum speed of the universe, uh, 1.9 um, times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Meters per second. As a reminder, the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the eighth. All right, so often we'll, we will compare things to the speed of light. So the escape velocity, um, all I have to do is, is um, compare this to the speed of light. So I'm just going to take the number, you know, 1.9 times 10 to the eighth, 10 to the eighth, divided by 3 times 10 to the eighth. Right, um, so so that that's a way. This is it to the eighth. Um, sorry, it doesn't look like it. Uh, so so you know both of them are ten to the eighth. So the ten to the eighths uh, really cancel, and then um, so this this uh, this gives you um, what is it zero zero point six four six six four. Uh, Six four four. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, so zero point six six four times the speed of light. In other words, another way of saying this is the escape speed from this from this neutron star would be about sixty four point four percent the speed of light. That's that's the way of saying that. All right. So so this the the last part. I guess that was kind of a part B, if you will. Um, the first part, part A, was figuring out the um, the surface gravity, um, the surface gravitational acceleration. All right, so here's the la the last part, um, part C that I had, had mentioned before, is um, they they want to know um, what the what if what if we decreased it um, instead of having dividing by ten thousand, um, the, the the radius of this thing was only was uh, was four uh, kilometers. All right, so the escape speed, again, it's the same equation. It's the square root of, it's exactly the same on the top. Two times big G, I'm not even going to put the numbers in, times, um, you know, 1.4 times the mass of the sun, which, of course, 
this is I'm just going to put that mass of the sun. All right, so so that's exactly the same as the but now instead of dividing by ten thousand, we're dividing by four thousand. You know, four kilometers or four thousand. All right. Um, so now what happens is uh, you get something greater than three, right? I, th I think it, this comes out to be uh, three point oh five or something like that. Oh five six uh, times ten to the eighth, right? Uh, meters per second. And so if you were to divide by the speed of light, then then the escape speed would actually be greater, right? It, it turns out to be um, like uh, like 1.02 times the times the speed of light. So 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 you you this this is not allowed, right? You can't. Um, I mean, you can have an escape speed greater than that, but it's not going to be a neutron star, right? So something of this size could never be a neutron star because the escape speed, um, this this value right here, is greater than the speed of light. Or, or, so, sorry, sorry, I, I wrote that wrong. Um, it, it goes the other way. Uh, that would be greater than the speed of light, which is not allowed, right? That nature doesn't allow that. That never, ever, ever, ever happens. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, that's number three. Let's look at number four. All right, actually, let's look at the. Uh, we'll look at the problem. Um, here's number four. Okay, so it says, um, and we're, 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 we should be very familiar with this by now, uh, use the radius, luminosity, t and temperature relationship, right? Remember that's, um, you know, L is, you know, L is, is uh, the R squared times the temperature to the fourth, anyhow. Um, to calculate the luminosity of a 10 kilo kilometer radius neutron star with a temperature of uh, uh, ten to the fifth, ki uh, ten, ten to the fifth kilo Kelvin, ten to the seventh Kelvin, and ten to the ninth Kelvin. Um, what would be the wavelengths of the radiation um, that was would be made would which would which it would radiate most strongly uh, in each case? Um, and could these things be on the plotted on the HR diagram? I think everything but the last one is is able to we were able to plot on the HR diagram um, as as you as you're going to see. All right, so let's uh, let's move on. Uh, all right, so this one, um, what was this number four? Okay, so um, uh, the the first I'm going to do the first one, um, and so this basically the, here's the idea. We're going to do the luminosity, and the first one is the the 10 to the 5th, okay, so I'm just using this notation here. The luminosity of the 10 to the 5th, um, you know, uh, um, th that, that's the, the size of the, of the neutron star compared to the luminosity of the sun. Remember, we always have to compare this to the luminosity of the sun. Uh, but of course, that is equal to um, the, 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 uh, the radius of this thing divided by the radius of our sun. So, so this, this neutron star is only 10 uh, kilometers. And then um, our sun is 609,000, six, sorry, 600, 696,304. Um, okay, so, uh, so 340, sorry. Um, and then, uh, of course, we have to square that and then we take the temperature, right? So, so it's it's going to be the temperature of this of this star. So, so um, this is the one. Uh, oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. So, so the, the the this number here, ten to the fifth, is the is the temperature of the star. All right. So the temperature is ten to the fifth, and remember this: the temperature of our sun is five thousand. Sorry, five thousand eight hundred. All right, and then of course we raise that to the fourth. In other words, this 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 is just going to be a number times the luminosity of the sun. So the luminosity of the 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 this this object that is ten to the ten to the fifth um, times uh, the, the the temperature is ten to the fifth uh, turns out to be um, once you do all that uh, one point eight times ten to the minus fifth one. Uh, 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth. 
right? So you just work, work this out times the luminosity of our sun. All right, so that's part, that is part A. How much time do I have? I don't have much time here. Um, all right, I'll do uh, the 10 to the 7th and then the 10 to the 9th in the next. Uh,